the Tamman here doing love and welcome to another episode of the 2020 NFL season predictions. Last time we did week three, today we'll be doing week four, but before we get into the fourth week of this NFL season, let's talk about week three. So here is what actually happened in the NFL. It was a very uh, crazy week. We started out with the Dolphins being the Jaguars in a surprise victory, the Steelers with a comeback win, the Colts defense looking great, the Chiefs dominating Baltimore, we had the Bills hold on and win, uh, the Eagles and Bengals tied, the Titans win a very exciting game. Um, the Bears with Nick Foles coming in and having that comeback win. The Lions getting a very shocking win and some other fun games. It was a very fun week of the NFL. In terms of my predictions, I went 9-7. and seven. So let's see if I do better in week 4. Starting off week 4, we have a Thursday night game between the Denver Broncos and New York Jets. Um, these teams have not won a game. And on the surface, this seems like a very kind of boring game. I think it'll be close. I'm going to go with the Jets. The Jets, this is kind of the game that if Adam Gase, the Jets head coach, loses, they will, he'll be fired, and I think that he's going to coach a, a, a game that he's going to win. I think that Sam Donald, yes, did throw a lot of picks against the Colts, but he's also had some nice moments this season, and I think that against a Broncos defense that's injured and Brett Rippon seems like a nice guy in interviews. I just am going with the Jets, and I think that they'll win a very close game. I think this game will be low scoring, but I think it'll be close and interesting. All right, we have the battle of the big cats here, Jaguars and Bengals. Um, I'm going to be going with Jacksonville here. Cincinnati's offensive line is something that needs to get fixed. Joe Burrow got sacked eight times by the Eagles defense, and Jacksonville has a pretty nice front with Josh Allen. So um, I think Gardner Minshew bounces back. Then we go to this Steelers-Titans game, which is um, unfortunately not getting played. A lot of Titans players, or not a lot, I think only about five of them got tested for COVID. So this game is going to be played at a later date, um, hoping that the Titans um, players get better. Let's move, though, to this game that I'm super excited for. Cam Newton versus Patrick Mahomes, Patriots versus Chiefs. This is going to be a really fun game, in my opinion. I'm going to go with the Chiefs. They just look unstoppable, but you have Cam and Mahomes, two extremely talented quarterbacks. I think this will be a really fun game. The Patriots defense has been fine this season, but I think the Chiefs defense, I mean, they limited Lamar Jackson, so I'm going with KC. Um, Bills Raiders, a game that no one's really talking about. Um, I think it's going to be a very... High-scoring game. Both offenses have played pretty well this year. For me, where I kind of am a bit hesitant, I would go with the Raiders. I want to go with Buffalo. The Raiders' defense is very young, and I think that you look at some of the Raiders' wins, they're high-scoring against the Panthers week one, and their defense struggled. And I think if the Bills can get the run game going, which they can, set up play action, I think they'll win. Also, the Raiders, I believe, have some injuries, and if, even if the wide receiving core is healthy, I just think the Bills have a lot of dominant defensive players that can really just out-physical some of these uh, Las Vegas Raiders playmakers. So I have the Bills winning. All right, AFC versus NFC here. Colts-Bears. This is going to be a good one, a rematch of a very underrated Super Bowl about 10 or so. It was like 15 years ago. My friend Ben and I, who I do the Man to Man Coverage podcast, were talking about this, and I'm going to go with the Colts. Um, you know, he was saying that Quinton Nelson is fantastic, and I think that the Colts have the offensive line to hold off, say, the Bears' play, defensive playmakers, and the Colts' defense has played pretty nice. We have Justin Herbert versus Tom Brady, the rookie versus the veteran. I think that the Buccaneers are going to win. I think they're hitting their hot streak. Their offense and Tom Brady had a very good win against Denver, and I think they'll do an something similar to another AFC West team. Browns-Cowboys, I'm really interested in this one. I think that this is honestly a coin toss. I think, you know, Dallas could win. The offenses look great. They have a good offensive line to hold off people like Miles Garrett. But the Browns really run the ball well, and, and Dallas's run game has struggled. I'm going to go with the Browns here. Count this upset game of the week. I think this will be one of the more talked-about games. Seahawks, Dolphins, I almost went with Miami, you know, kind of, they played on Thursday night, a bit of a upset, arrested, you know, team, but, I mean, Russell Wilson's playing at a fantastic level, and I think that the Dolphins' defense has struggled with a lot of deep ball throws, and that's what Wilson does so well. Um, I think the Ravens are going to bounce back and beat the Washington football team. I know they lost, but this Ravens team, after a loss, is 
Wow, they are really good. So I think this is going to be... I could see this game kind of being a blowout, and the I think these two could be blowouts. Um, the Beltway Bowl here to Maryland. Well, Washington's close to Maryland, but that's cool. Vikings-Texans, um, another high-scoring game. I, I'm just going with Houston. J.J. Watt, I think, is going to give that Vikings offensive line a lot of trouble. Troubles. Yes, Justin Jefferson had a good game against Tennessee, but Houston with that defensive line, I think it's going to give Kirk Cousins a lot of trouble, and I see Houston winning. I want to go the lines here as we go into these NFC games. Um, the Saints, I'm just not buying them this year. I think they you know, probably win about eight, nine games, but the Lions beat the Cardinals. They looked really good, and Matthew Stafford looked great, and I think he can pass a lot against the Saints defense. Would it surprise me if the Saints won? No, but I think Detroit will win. Um, I'm actually going to go with the Panthers here against the Cardinals. They have struggled on East Coast early stock times. My mom's a huge Cardinals fan, and she always says that. And I, I just think that after a Panthers win, I think they also have a lot of defensive playmakers like Jeremy Chin, who are very athletic, very young, that I think can contain kind of a bit of Kyle Murray scrambling. Um, I think the Rams here are going to win against the Giants. I'll say about two scores. Um... What I like about this is Sean McVay is really preparing for this Giants defense. He's taking this game seriously. A lot of people are going to might write this off as a blow-off, but I think Sean McVay's preparation, and just overall the Rams are better, but I think that added extra layer of preparation is going to get the Rams. I think this could be a big win. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> the Eagles and the Niners, Sunday night. I want to go with San Fran. Nick Mullins really impressed me. Um, last week, and that, you know, Kyle Shanahan's one of the best offensive corners, and the Eagles defense is in some trouble, so I'm going to be going with the Niners. Monday night to end off this week, we have the Falcons and the Packers. I think that the Packers will win. I think Atlanta will make it close at times. If this is a game that the Packers win by a field goal, it wouldn't surprise me. The Falcons offense has played well, but the defense has struggled, and I think that's something the Packers um, will be able to score a lot of points on. So everyone, that does it here for week four in terms of predictions, in terms of fantasy. Um, in one of my leagues I won last week, um, Aaron Rodgers, I, I'm expecting him to do very well. Dalvin Cook, Kai Edwards Hilaire, I could see him getting a lot of touches. Cooper Cup against that Giants defense. You know, I like James Bradbury for New York, but I could see Cup having a really nice game. Tyler Rocket has played very well. Zach Ertz, um, We'll see how he does. He's kind of been up and down for me. I'll keep him this week. Devin Singletary as my flex Rams defense. I do have some people. I might start James Robinson. I mean, the Bengals' run defense isn't that great. Actually, I want to do that. I want to have James Robinson as the flex. There we go. And I also picked up Daryl Mooney, who um, I've heard a lot of good things about. He's young. Um, so we have him, not starting him this week, but at least have him. And my other fantasy league, I'm, I'm not doing too great here. Um, I need to fill some of these spots. So I'm going to have Justin Jefferson against this Houston defense. I think that is something that's going to be really big. And then I just picked up this Rams defense for the Giants. So, um, I'm hoping CD has a good game. A lot of younger players here with, um, CD Lamb and Justin Jefferson, two rookie wide receivers. Robbie Anderson's been having a nice year. Um, Chris Carson, who else do I, maybe, do I start James Robinson in our two matchups? Well, the Dolphins re, I don't know. The Dolphins run defense is fine. I, I don't know. Cam has been working out very well. Kind of a risky pick I took at the time, but that, guys, will do it here for me. Week four predictions, let me know what you think. And until then, this has been Tim and doing well. See y'all next time. Have a great day.